guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. Yeah, kind of. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Intentious, and this is Horaz, Forbidden West. Back into it. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button. I don't know. Looks the same as before. And let's get into it. I could pull this thing out of the box. What? Transmission. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. Well, let's go. Uh, maybe I can jump to that ledge behind me. Just do it. Yeah, I know. Just imagine. There we go. The landscape. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, I've been loving the game so far. Like I said in the last video. I want to cross over to the spire. Should be able to get up there now. I thought Silence was helping me when he gave me his lance. It looks like he tricked me. Transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? Why would he do that? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully the transmission note at the top will tell me. Oh, they changed it up. Or maybe it's just a different direction. No, nope. get over there. No, stop. Stop. Looks like this panel's ajar. Can I go up through the inside? You wanna act difficult. finally figured it out. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You raped the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be... extracted. Extracted? 
The mysterious signal that walked, for example. Or why not obtain one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Eloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll come find you, all right. Yes. Well, the coordinates make it simple enough. Even for you. He's sick. <laughs> See, yeah. even for you. went inside it, and it transformed, almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. Uh, that can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it, the Tanakh, and they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated, and indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. The way you two attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage, instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Ah, the Sun King. Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now? Please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace, but I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. A Avad, this is all very kind, but I... With it. Vinasha. Quick. Better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? Try it on. It's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. Oh, my friends. They love me so. I need to attach the Master Override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. And I need to talk to my friends. Don't forget that. Savior, everything's just the way you left it. We made sure of it. Ah. Welcome back, Savior. We are at your disposal. Disposal? Savior, welcome back to the Alights. To the Alights. Looks like a memorial. Honoring those who fell in the Battle of the Alight. 
Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. True. No, oh, man, speaking. <laughs> speaking up. Sorry, but Blameless Murad wants you to stay put, Savior. Boy, nobody tell me what to do. I can't let you through, Champion. Apologies. Who, who said? Can't let you go this way, Savior. I'm doing what I want to. Oh, well, may, maybe that invisible wall says otherwise. Or maybe I just turned the controller around. Are you carrying some? Bro. Need help with that? It look heavy. It look real heavy. Machine carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. That's what we do. Our bro was walking with that box. That's how I'll be at work. <laughs> be working real hard uh secret <laughs> thank you i tried to time, ignoring me again Ooh. look at you watch it up huh is it what's it up huh Ooh. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> Secrets. So, I know where to go. Because, just like I said in the first video, if you didn't watch it, go back and watch it. Well, no. It's not the first one. Well, yeah, like I said in part one. Go and watch that video. But the sculptor wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Noct territory. By the sun, that's a Noct? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but... After years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. Embassy? When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. Asarum, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly. Resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Barren Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was... tricky. How tricky? Like, taking off a bra tricky, or like... What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No. Not in this case. Fashav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands and has been held ever since. Mm. How did you get the Tanakh to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. 
But to knock like tiaras? <laughs> More like metals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. You sure about that, my friend? Right, Your cousin, Fashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Well, I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. If I see him, I will. Oh man, doing a bit. Five years. Edelman looks happy. Well, you got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? Yes, well... I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But I find I'm always... trying to make them into someone they're not. Is that a hint? At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. All right. I, go. I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? But long enough for us to... Spend time to get to know each other properly, perhaps. Ooh. He's trying to get freaky deaky. Flashpoints offer moments of emotional choice. How Alloy expresses her personality is up to you. Choose the fist and Alloy will confront the dip. Confront the, <laughs> the challenge directly. Choose brain and Alloy will use her insight to find a clever, less obvious approach choose heart and alloy will express compassion or give voice to her deepest convictions now's not really the time but it's a nice thought i do hope to see meridian again avat and you but this mission it's my life it's all i can think about i have to stay focused what happens after? I can't imagine that. I... I wouldn't know where to begin. Well, if that place were to end up being Meridian, know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. Tend to your mission, Aloy. I will hope for your success. And look forward to your return. Alloy out here with the hoes. She got my man Michael B. Jordan. And she got the Sun King. Mm. Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say it right? You said it fine, Edmund. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? It's a man. I, uh, 
I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! Thunderjaws? Hmm. Who was that? Sound like a person you need to know. But yeah, like I was saying before, all of this dialogue, this is another part I had to replay for like the 15 billion there. time. The workbench. Got something to say? Savior, the orb remains untouched as per Blameless Murad's instructions. Savior, the orb remains untouched as per Blameless Murad's instructions. Okay, I, I heard you the first time. What do you mean? I'm here. Fanasha, thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it, even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Fanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment, but I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to, and it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress, please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. Always. He said, my voice deep, very white deep. <laughs> You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk. May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part. Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. I never pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Huh? Oh dear. Uh, we were talking about Edaman? <laughs> yeah, okay, I admit it. Edaman's cute, he's fun, and he looks up to me, I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. My man got shook. She said, the box is soft like silk too. He was like, oh, haha. <laughs> Nose almost started bleeding. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> After you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> so, box. <laughs> well, I, I know. I know. You're out. Go! Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. Why oh, my man talking like that? Sound like he did Mortal Kombat. Sit, champion. Like, damn, she, she ain't about to fight Scorpion. Spear upgrade. Install the Master of a Ride and a new module to enable the buildup and release of kinetic energy in combat. Requires the Resonator Blast skill to use. When I get that. 
Okay. Will not get that. Master override installed. Plus, something new. To Savior. Store up and release I'm energy. I'm to see you in good health. Uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. He says she's not even listening. To What's this? What's up? Oh. Sorry. It's Listen. part of the Deathbringer we defeated. This machine was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but... It's just a piece of scrap now. It's just a piece of scrap now. Alright, that's talking to everybody. Are you ready to go? Or do you need a little more time? Nah, we good. Talk to everybody. Time to get going. Time to hit the dusty trail. I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Dawns, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Barren Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. Fortnite. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. My man didn't take a shower. <laughs> Alloy ain't shit. <laughs> Sneaking out on my man. She wanna be so low dolo. My holes gotta stay where they at. Copyright. <laughs> oh. So 
Christ in the flood. <laughs> seen anyone use one of those to get around is that how I get to Baron light uh yes I mean usually but not today uh, not yet and why is that well the daunt the whole valley it's infested with machines so that's light work I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then who would crank it back up? <laughs> fine, fine. Alloy's trying to get my man in trouble. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones, and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. Strangeness is, they're not native to the Dodge. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Oh, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Olvent. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man. So he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it! Ah! <sighs> Great. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Insolence? Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... this... what? This Nora girl? This savage? Savage. Besides Scallywag? What? <laughs> Scallywag. That's Aloy. Studious, what is? Aloy, you know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the Embassy of Baron Light. The way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the Sun Priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, Scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less... scroll. Vadis. Studious Vadis. Studious Vadis sent Erend and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak... Hey! Shh. It's a bit locked. Down the valley then? The yeah, said they checked the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the smith and chain scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. 
Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to Chain Scrape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. It will be. Trust me. Boy, she told him, didn't she? I gotta find Erend. But it might be good to hit Chain Scrape first and upgrade my bow. Scalawag. <laughs> oh, look at all these materials. Mm. So swipe up. To reveal the whole hood. Oh. Yo, this map is crazy. I like this. It's like a top down version of a. 3D map. Yo, that's nice. That's where I'm at right now. Just where I gotta go. Okay. I like that. Oh, we got some. Commander's Mending. Scan glyphs. Scroll. A short scroll of parchment with an official seal. By mandate of the Commander Nozar, all residents of the Dunt are herewith informed of the following. The gates between barren light and no man's land are hereby ordered shut and sealed in expectation of the imminent embassy. None are allowed passage, either way until further notice. No exceptions will be made regardless of clan, house, or tribe. Based on previous grievances and understanding, let it be clear that no exception will be made for the Ulceram either. Any outstanding arrangements made pertaining to passage are hereby declared postponed or void, depending on the nature and the timing of the arrangement. No exceptions will be made, again, to eliminate any doubt should they remain. All of the above pertains to the Ulceram regardless of circumstances excuses or so-called binding contracts any complaints and slash or restitution if at all applicable can be addressed to captain lawen my second in command signed in the light of the sun nozar Adarin kuvin man commander of baron light well he said what he said I'm not trying to fight. I'm just trying to grab this. Go on about your business. Please. Thank you. Green shine silk. A gemstone. It's green like blaze, but it's hard and shiny. I think merchants would be interested. You have found a piece of green shine, a rare and valuable resource. Hidden all over the world, green shine can be used for upgrading certain weapons and outfits or trading with specific merchants. Alright, we out. Let me stop picking up these rocks. Uh. Nope, need that. Need that.
And that's how you take down a pig. And how you get delicious bacon. It's a dead machine. It must be a bristleback. Maybe Aaron took it down? Hopefully he did. It must be chain scrape. Jeruf said I could get my bow upgraded in there. Oh, yeah. I'd be able to tinker with my other gear, too. Huh? Ground the... soaked with acid. Did the bristlebacks do this? Baron Light is that way? So Chain Scrape is that way. Just gathering these little materials real quick. What's that? Ooh, it's more of the more to light. Hold up. Thank you. Outlander approaching. Outlander. Approach. Savior. Want to come in, Savior? Yep. Welcome to Chainscrape, Savior. Open up, guys. Jor of Servers. Good enough for me. <laughs> me. Black dude looks like I don't care about this job. Forge. Petra? Aloy. What are you doing here? About time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice, nice to see you two. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Ooh. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. And right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our land, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody's problem. Roland. You've heard of him. Yeah. <laughs> but he's a story best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, flame hair, good to see you. You've got to move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. Look at that butt, though. Shawty thick. <laughs> well, this old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. And that's why y'all subscribe to the channel, because y'all know we have the best cutscenes over here. You had ghosts over here. You had thickness just walk past. Mm. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Cool. Till Elvin blows that whistle, no one's working. Oh, that's... Why wow, the graphics so Work good? Free if you need to tinker with that gear. Offer. Oh, Shop looks closed. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you. Appreciate it. Okay. Weapons upgrade. Ooh, trapping. Upgrade this. What did it do? Okay. Got two upgrades. Oh, not enough resources. Okay. Gotta do the bow first. Hey, now we can do them acid rounds. Okay. Can this? Yep. Just got another one. That's 
That's it for that. Yep, that's all my upgrading. So now, an ammo that deals an ammo that deals acid damage is now available in your inventory. Use your focus to scan enemies to see if they are weak to acid. Hitting enemies with acid will build up to corrosive state. Once in this state, an enemy's armor takes damage over time and has reduced damage resistance. Shoot arrows. Shoot acid canisters with an acid arrow to detonate them and trigger large elemental explosions. Okay. This should be useful. Okay. That was it I had to do? Now okay. I just need to find Aaron and help him clear the bristlebacks. I will. But I've seen this first. <laughs> my box this is your stash it can be found in every settlement as well as other locations throughout the world when you gather items beyond your carrying capacity assess items will be sent to your stash from here you can retrieve items individually or restock all your resources by holding the square button hey my fault i didn't, I didn't mean to do all that all right, everybody, we will end this video right here. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Like I said, first, the first video, dead number, second one, great as well. So thank you. Keep watching. I really do appreciate the support. But before we go, let's do the usual YouTuber biz. Like, comment, and subscribe. Leave a like if you like Horizon. Like if you like Forbidden West. And a like if you like Into the Flood. <laughs> Leave a like just to support me too. Comment down any encouraging words, any criticism, any interesting thoughts or facts on the game. Anything. Comment down below. I guess bro wanted to be on camera too. <laughs> Most importantly, subscribe. Subscribe to stay up to date when I drop new videos of Horizon Zero Dawn. Forbidden West, not Zero Dawn. But subscribe to see when I drop my new videos and other content that you might like. Watch the suggested videos because they're for you. Tell a friend to tell a friend, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.